Trojan Sports Now. Welcome back to Trojan Sports Now. Excitement is still in the air from Saturday's triumphant 61-60 victory over Little Rock, making the Troy women's basketball team Sunbelt champs for the first time. The Chargers now turn their attention to their upcoming matchup with the number two seed, the Oregon State Beavers, in the NCAA first round. Head coach Chandler Rigby says making it to the big dance will mean a lot for the future of the program. You know, I've been on another level, but uh, yeah, it's just, it's just keep, I, I think we're just going to keep the same routines and keep the same plan, work hard, keep believing, um, try to find any advantage we can, use our run game because that's what brought us here. We're going to dance at the big dance with what brought us. The Turtles will face off against Oregon State on Friday at Gill Coliseum in Corvallis, Oregon. Tip-off is set for 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, televised on ESPN2. The track and field teams will return to competition in the Alabama Relays in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, March 17th through the 19th. Troy men's golf team will take a much-deserved break before returning to action at the Hootie at Bulls Bay on April 3rd and 4th in Allendale, South Carolina. The Trojan women's golf team will get a week off before returning to action Mar March 28th through the 30th at the Hensler Financial Intercollegiate hosted by Kennesaw State. It's early, but the Troy softball team is 1-2 and two in the Sun Belt Conference. This weekend for the Trojans is crucial to regain footage over the competition. Conference is always huge. I mean, it doesn't matter who you're playing. We have a great conference. The Sun Belt's amazing in softball, and I think it's nice that we were able to, you know, put the barrel on the ball a lot today, and, you know, the plan is to bring the same pitching we've had over the last couple weeks and bring the quality at bats like we had today. And, you know, like I said, it's going to be one pitch at a time, one inning at a time. The Chargers take off this weekend to Boone, North Carolina for conference play, taking on Appalachian State. The baseball team had a series at home last weekend, but didn't have much luck against the raging cages of UL Lafayette. The Chargers now look to turn things around this weekend when they travel to Statesboro, Georgia in another weekend series that head coach Mark Smart says will be a tough but competitive matchup. Uh, so we'll have our work cut out for us. They're going to be a solid ball club. Uh, but it's a good challenge for our team, and any time you go on the road in this league, it's hard to win a series, but that'll certainly be our goal and intent when we load up Thursday heading over is to go win the series. Troy will travel to Statesboro, Georgia this Friday to take on Georgia Southern. The Miss Tennis team will be in action next on Sunday, March 27th, when they host Jacksonville State at the Lunsford Tennis Complex. The women's tennis team returns to the court next Thursday, March 24th, when they host Appalachian State in a Sunbelt match at the Lunsford Tennis Complex. That's all the time we have for Trojan Sports Now. Check us out online at youtube.com slash Troy Trojan Vision to catch anything you miss. For Jamal Kennedy, I'm Khadija Swobert. Thanks for watching, and as always, Go, Go Trojans! Trojans. Trojan Sports Now.